I'm going to just take you guys through four stages of things that you must have, the should have, that will be given. The third part is the ones you'll be given in the orientation camp. And of course, the last one is the things you should not bring to orientation camp. Yes, this is Cherry and I'm telling you things that you need to have before you go to NYC orientation camp in Nigeria, of course. <laughs> oh well, if this is your first time on my YouTube channel, welcome. And under this video to your right, you will see a beautiful red subscribe button. Kindly click it just once. That's all. That's all. Okay, so let's get down to the news. The things that you need to have. First of all, your documents. All your original documents, your statement of result, your passports. Passports are really expensive in the mummy market in um, the camp. Your um, original birth certificate. Your fitness record, yes. Your medical and fitness record. That's the first thing you're going to bring in. That's better you're going to present for them to even sign you in at all. Yes, and they, they can change you because of that. So this fitness record is just a, a statement saying that, hey, this person is fit to participate in the um, NYC parade and all of that. And what can you get is only from two types of hospitals. First is the military hospital or the government hospital, government hospital, no private. They will not take anything private. You have to get it from a government hospital or a military hospital. Yes, these two things. So um, the other one you will need is to print your stuff from the NYC portal. First of all, you have to register within the time. You have to keep checking NYC. I'll put the website at the NYC website and the portal as well. So you have to keep checking when the portal is open for you to register. And when you finish registration, registration is in two processes. After doing your fingerprints and everything, you now do the full registration, the long one. After that, then you they'll give you a green card and the call up letter, which will eventually call up come up later. So you're gonna have to have these two things. You have to print them and bring the original colored. You have to print it colored and bring it to the camp. So first, your um, your school certificate, statement of result, then your passports, you have to have your passport. Passports are really expensive in camp, like I said. Then you have to have your medical certificate of fitness. Then um, your green card and your color, num uh, um, color paper letter, you have to print them colored and bring them. So you also have to get your ID card, either a school ID card or your international passport. Yeah, that. Um, your BVN. You have to know your BVN. Get to your bank and get your BVN. Yes. Because, I mean, I don't know how you're going to get to come <laughs> for any reason. So you have to go to the, your bank and find your BVN. Save it on your phone or write it down anywhere you're going to find, find it. Then your drugs, if you are on any type of drug, if you are on any special drug, hypertensive, diabetic, whatever it is, type of drug or ulcer, they have to come with your drugs. They will, they will see the drugs at the gate and then they will search you in or whatever. But you have to come with them because you might not really get them in camp. Yeah, special drugs. You have to have cash. You have to have cash. I'm currently in orientation camp. And as you can see, like it's been, a, it's been a long day. I've been coming all the way from Lagos and stuff. And I hope you guys can hear me shout. I'm in a friend's uh, shop. Say hello to the camera. Hello. She's my photocopier for today. You have to do some photocopies that it come with and all of that. It's very hot. It's like 41 degrees, even more than that at this point in time. It's so hot. So I came with my sunscreen. The only thing is I came with one sunscreen. I don't think it's enough, man. And um, I'll show you guys all the things you need to do whenever you're going for NYC in Nigeria. They will give you one slice of bread, kind of bread, or no bed sheet, no pillow, no bed sheet. So you are supposed to go to camp with uh, a bed sheet, a pillow, and a pillowcase if you really want to be using pillow in camp for three weeks. You get your own pillow, your pillowcase, your bed sheet, your bathroom slippers, a torchlight if you think you will need one. Um, personal belongings, your cream, your sunscreen, because you're going to be under the sun for a long time. You need a sunscreen. A heavy SPF sunscreen, you need it. <laughs> yeah, the, you need a padlock to lock your things because, man, where many are got our thieves are also there. They probably a good padlock to lock your box or your bag or whatever you have. I would advise you to come with a box because one, you can drag it on the floor when you're tired. The ones with the brother, if you come with a bag, they can find a way to open it and take any of your thing. I mean, proper bag. 
but if you come with a box it's usually much more difficult to go with um you need provisions because you might not like the food they sell in camp or the food that uh, they give in camp because they feed people they feed three times a day You might not like the food, so you will need your own kind of food, provision to go into camp with. You can't cook, so forget it. It's only provisions like milk, milo, and all of that. The other thing that you will need as well is um, a food flask, a little food flask, or all those small white transparent takeaways. You might need them. You know, might you will need them, so you'll be going to the kitchen to collect food with it. But you can always buy these ones in camp. All these ones I'm giving you should have. You cannot actually afford to buy them in camp. Yeah, they sell them in camp, but they sell them much more expensive than in pink. So yes, you need a padlock. You need extra white shorts. Okay, so in camp you are going to be given two white shorts and two uh, white vests. This is actually given to me by camp. It's big, but I'm okay with it because I have like two, uh, three extra white tops yeah and then white shorts as well you'll be giving white shorts too yeah and two white socks this and this shoe one of these white shoes one of that white shoe um two socks and um two this two white shirt then one cap as you can see one nyc crested vest nyc i'll show you one of my videos <laughs> nyc crested vest and um one khaki up and down then one of the orange boots exactly so um that is what you're going to be giving in camp so for those ones you will need an extra because you wear white every day and for you to wear white every day you might not be able to wash all of them even if you do they might not dry and all of that blah 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 so you need just extra so at least you will not be stressing yourself to be washing shake it mm -hmm. so you need extra our advice uh, at least it depends on how much you can afford. If you can't afford it, you go and have the tutu that you were given and just wash. There are there are clean there are cleaners, there are washers, hand washers and um, dry cleaners in the camp as well. But you can also go with your own detergent so you can wash. You get. Mm -hmm. So those are basically the things: bathroom slippers, sunscreen, white shoe, one extra white shoe, white short, padlock, bed sheet, pillowcase. Provisions, food flask, cup, plastic cup, plastic spoon, towel, you need your towel, you need your mosquito net, you need your mosquito net. Um, and then they allow mufti's on Sundays if you're going to church. So yeah, you get some mufti's too. So you have to have cash, yes, because cash is very important. So this is what it looks like, it comes like in a pack. It has all the dates, breakfast, lunch, dinner, blah, 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 blah. On opening the bag, this is what I found. It's not a bag, it's, this is actually a shirt that was tied into a bag. So let's take out the stuffs one after the other so you see what you get as a pack. Uh, national Youth Service, National Youth Service Club, Security Awareness and Education. We'll read this later. Uh, bylaws. Hmm. You have to read bylaws actually in your pockets. Oh, man, this is where the problem might be. This might not be my size. I hope it is. Let's see what we have. I have to post this now. Ooh, let's see if it's our size. <laughs> miracle, it is our size. It is our size. Miracle, miracle. <laughs> it's painful here though. The second miracle, it's our size. <laughs> yes, it's my size though. Yes. What size is yours? I think mine is 41 too, so it's my size. Yay! So, uh, one white short, another white short, why is this one stained? One white socks, one white top, another white top, another white socks, 
and uh, a cup on the NYS shirt. <laughs> I'm a baller. Now let's take a look at the machine they gave me. <laughs> as oh, I have to. Okay, and the trousers. So let's check this out. If I look like well, a Christmas I, goat, don't okay, even laugh at okay, me. Then. No, you should come back. <laughs> okay, we are definitely going to walk on the hand. And on the... Not in. So they say we should not walk on anything. Wow, you can walk on it if possible. I'm about to fly. Wow, that is good. Now, things that you should not try to get to the camp. One, extension box to any metal anything scissors razor blade spoon fork knife no they would fully get away but they will even take it from you and keep it ceramics to ceramics cup glass cup not allowed in camp anything that can eventually form sharp objects it's not allowed in camp to be honest it's not allowed in camp and most camps don't allow people to charge in the hostel so you have to go to mommy market to charge and you have to pay 59 where i'm um, the camp where i'm currently you have to pay 59 to charge your phone and wonder to charge your power bank mm -hmm, you heard me right you have to pay so these things are like what you really really need then as an individual you have your own preferences your own differences and what you need like me now I don't need any other extra I have my handbag and my box and this funny part and that funny part yeah so things you need and all yeah basically they don't cook in camp so no pots <laughs> no pots no metal no stove no nothing no iron